Hey guys and welcome to my video. So today we've got quite an exciting one for you. We're going to be setting up a Raspberry Pi 2 to work as a Plex Media Server. So in a previous video, which you'll find the link uh, here, uh, we installed Rasplex, so that's the Plex client, to pull media from um, your own sources. So running uh, the Plex Media Server off a PC or a Mac but what we're going to do today is actually set up the Plex Media Server and the transcoding to work from the Pi itself. And we're actually going to test that uh, with another Pi uh, running the Rasplex. We've got a bit of Pi on Pi action. So it's a reasonably technical video, so um, feel free to pause uh, as I'm going through the setup. So this is how we do it. So for this video to work, we need to acquire the Raspberry image. So we'll just go through this very quickly. You head over to the Raspberry website. And just go down to here and say download zip. Once that's downloaded, we use a tool called Win32 Disk Imager. So simply browse. And then burn that out there. Once you've got your device in there. And then boot your Pi up. So let's uh, let's move over to the Pi. So first thing we need to do is extend the filing system. So we just do that. Change the password, um, something a little bit more secure. Uh, and then reboot your Pi again. Right, let's log in again using our new password. Right, as with everything that we do with the Pi, we do actually need to do the update and the upgrade with this one because uh, when we do our transcoding tools um, it fails so actually doing the upgrade uh, is a necessity once that's done then we do the upgrade so sudo apt get upgrade and let that run say so yes to that Right, finally, once that's finished, because it does take quite a while, <coughs> what we need to do is to download the Plex Media Server package. So we do this using sudo wget https colon forward slash forward slash dev today dot de slash plex dash latest. And that I'll uh, go off to that website and acquire that package. So I'll let that run through. Right, once that's done, we then need to uh, compile it. So all we do is sudo dpkg minus i and then plex and we just put plex star uh, no spares there uh, and basically we're just telling it to unpackage the plex dash latest so the plex star just means we don't need to type it all out so this will take a few minutes to run so once this is done what we'll do then is we'll move over to the uh, transcoding tools so that we're able to play on other devices otherwise we'll be restricted to direct play only so now that's finished we will go to sudo apt get install mkv tool nix lib ex pat 
one and FM MPEG FM MPEG minus Y. <clears throat> Kick that off and let that run. Once that's finished, we're going to restart the Plex Media service um, so that the changes that we've made here with the transcoding tools actually takes effect. So we'll just wait for this to finish. There we go. Right, so to restart the service, all we do is type in sudo service Plex Media server and then restart. Right, and that's it. We are cooking on gas. So what we do now is if we bring up the uh, GUI, so star x, and if we go to uh, a browser, bring up a browser, And then what we do, just to prove, uh, just to go to sort of the web interface, go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash um, <clears throat> local host 32400, sorry, colon 32400 forward slash web. And ta-da, we have a Plex server interface. So agree to the terms. So and there we have our little Raspberry Pi. So let's have a look at the settings. Set for the name Raspberry Pi. Sign in. So next we need to do update library automatically and periodically. At the moment we can't see the USB pen because it's not mounted. So we'll come out of here. Log out. So the next bit we're going to do is we're going to mount mount your drives. So um, I'm going to cover both NTFS and Samba. Because um, really if you've got them both um, installed, then it doesn't really matter what type of pen you plug in. Um, so I'll just go through this. So it's just um, sudo apt get uh, install <coughs> NTFS-3G. Now the Samba component should have been upgraded as part of the initial install, but just in case. There's no arm. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're just going to check the name of the pen. Uh, just to prove that it is the correct one. So as we can see there, SDA1, so we know exactly what we're doing. <clears throat> Next, I'm not going to mount them uh, now. I'm going to put them straight into the FS tab. <clears throat> so what this does here is this mounts your pen as soon as it boots up.
next create a mounting point folder so that the Pi um, has got something to mount the USB pen to. So once you do that, um, do a reboot. So sudo reboot. Right, excellent. So log back in. <coughs> Run the GUI. Go to flex. Oh. Right, let's go to add a folder, TV shows. USB hard drive one, shares, TV, add, add library. And there we go, as that work is appearing now. And there it is. So let's test the uh, web play. So the web play doesn't work. <clears throat> let's have a look to see if it streams to a iPad so here's his iPad and as we can see it's come up with a Raspberry Pi library we go into there and we've got our TV show good old Constantine and we've got the first episode And that's transcoding now. Make them nice and tight, love. Yep. And that is absolutely crystal clear. Let's see what skipping a video is like. Yep, and that's skipping perfectly fine. That's acceptable. What are they? Souls. Trapped. Searching for a way out. Then you see them? No. So there you have it, you've got a fully fledged Plex media server running on a Raspberry Pi 2 with full transcoding. I really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've loved putting it together. So give us a thumbs up or drop me a comment uh, or any questions. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more content. In my next video we're going to be looking at the Rasplex client talking to the Plex server that we've just created. So take care of yourselves. Until next time.